My name is Queen Eloagene Justice Osom. I am married to a very handsome man, Justice Osom, and I have two beautiful daughters. I want to tell you my story. Hello, I am a Proko doctor, and you're welcome to the Hygiene Series, brought to you by Hypo. <laughs> Two years ago, we were moving from our old apartment. We actually wanted to move because we have stayed there for over five years. So we needed to change the environment. And then I just had my daughter, my last child. I was at my mom's place. My husband was looking for an apartment. He looked for a different apartment, but you know how men they do. They just sideline some things, not considering that, okay, this woman needs to check out some things. And then I came after a mugo. And he said, okay, I found some places, let's go check them out. We went, uh, luckily I liked one, which is where we are, but the place was dirty, really dirty. Not really a new apartment. Somebody has stayed in it before, and then we had to be the second tenant actually in that apartment. And then we agreed to take the house. The place was really dirty. We cleaned the first time, we came back again, we cleaned the second time, and then we cleaned the third time, just to be safe and thorough that, okay, this place is clean. I had a little baby, very tiny, three months old. Then we moved in. After cleaning, we moved in. We moved in December 2021. Yes, we moved in 2021, yes. December 2021, we cleaned, we entered. And then days later, we started experiencing some things. It started with me. And you know, a woman that just delivered, having infection, it's kind of, it's somehow, I had to look at my husband. Come guy, are you sure <laughs> you have not carried it from somewhere to the house? And he was like, I don't get, what do you mean? Oh, I didn't say anything, but I'm just asking because I'm reacting to something. And then suddenly he started complaining that, okay, I think this thing calls for concern that I'm having this uh, thing and uh, I bought something antibiotic. Was it prescribed? No, it wasn't, but I just feel it's going to work. But it didn't work. But where it became really high risk concern was when my daughter started complaining that, hey, mommy, my butt is itching me and all that. I was like, okay, I think this is it. This, this is it. So we had to call our family doctor. And then she was like, okay, tell me how it is. Is it, is it this, is it that? Is it bringing out? I'm like, I don't know, but it's really terrible. You know how it feels when you're standing in public and then you feel like itching and people are standing bes <laughs> beside you. You feel like itching. Is that terrible? And how we moved into a new apartment and how this whole thing started. And she was like, okay, I think it's your environment, but I cannot conclude from where I am, how severe it is or what you should use, what you should not use. So she suggested that we go to the hospital. And then we went to the hospital. I related the same story to them. And then they were like, okay, they didn't really say your environment, but I knew that, okay, it was because we have moved and then using another toilet that we used before that is not properly cleaned can actually cause such infection. You know, doctors won't tell you that is a, your environment. They just give you drugs and they know within themselves that, okay, that this is actually what is wrong. And then I got home, I reached out to a colleague. She introduced me to a disinfectant that is very powerful. And then I started using that in disinfectant, mix it with water to mop my floor, to clean my toilet, to clean everywhere because of my kids. I have to be on top of my game because of my kids. So you don't start picking things and then rushing to the hospital for, for drugs and all that. So since then, we haven't had that occurrence of uh, 
infection anymore because we have been on top of our game when it comes to cleaning. I would like to advise moms out there. I know it's not easy, especially when you have a career. You have to go to work, to come back. You have to prepare food, do everything for the family. But in all, whatever we are doing out there, we are doing it because of the family. And we have to make sure that the family is in good health. So find time as much as you can. Make sure that the house is clean for the kids because the kids can not differentiate what is good and what is not. They just speak it and they believe that, oh, it's from the house. I can do whatever I want to do. But you have to be sure. You have to make sure that things are very clean in the house. Thank you very much. And I pray that God will help us in this journey as a mother. <laughs> you see this word? I am not even going to get involved. But I want to correct one thing. Where she said, and doctors are going to know what the problem is, but they will not let you know and they'll just give you drugs. I want to maintain that that is not true. The first job of a doctor is to educate. And if for any reason you are not satisfied with what your doctor told you, please seek a second opinion. Number two, please, if you ever get infected with a vaginal infection, take note of the underwear that you were wearing that period. What do you do with them? simply disinfect them with a solution of bleach or throw them away if you can afford them this prevents you from getting infected over and over again and if for any reason the reinfection keeps coming ensure to see your doctor as soon as possible because you have to understand that hygiene is not just about your environment mopping cleaning and all hygiene is also personal